It's story time! You want to hear a speckle story, don't you? Woof! Woof! <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Two Full Toy Chest. One day, Speckle realized he had so many toys, his toy chest couldn't hold them all. Darnell suggested that Speckle give away some of his toys, and that sounded like a good idea. So with the help of his friends, Speckle started cleaning out the chest. Darnell pulled out some swim fins and a snorkel and thought they would be a lot of fun at the beach. So Speckle gave them to Darnell. Luna discovered some roller skates. Speckle told her to please take them home with her. Reba found a fire truck with a real siren. She loved it so much that Speckle wanted her to have it for her own. Rabby and Speckle dug out matching badminton rackets from the very bottom of the chest. Speckle gave one racket to Rabby and kept one for himself. As his friends played with the toys Speckle gave them, Speckle realized how good it made him feel to share his toys with his friends. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? Woof. Exciting news to share with you this morning. I'm getting married. What? Married? Oh, oh, my God. God. Good for her. Woof, woof. I'd like you all to meet my fiance, Frank Williams. Hello, everyone. This is so amazing. <gasps> How did you two meet, Miss Carrington? <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, Frank and I met at the beach when he visited the island last year. At the beach? How romantic. Well, I'm not much of a water person, though. I prefer to stay on dry land. Huh? Uh, Frank is a botanist. He studies plants. I've traveled all over the world looking for plants that no one has discovered before. The jungles of South America. The deserts of Africa. I'm hoping to find some interesting plants right here on Birdwell Island. Wow! That sounds cool! I'd like to be a botanist and work out in the jungles and deserts someday, too. Well, actually, I don't spend all that much time in the jungles. Most of the time, I work in a classroom. Frank is a college professor. He teaches, just like me. But there aren't any colleges on Birdwell Island. That's true, Emily Elizabeth. That's why Frank and I will be living on the mainland after we're married. Wow! You'll have to take the ferry back and forth every day. I hope it's on time. It wouldn't be right for our teacher sure to be late to class. <laughs> well, actually, I won't be your teacher anymore. <gasps> no! I'm going to miss you all very much, but I'm hoping you'll write to me often and tell me all about what's happening on Birdwell Island. But, Miss Carrington, you're our teacher. Mrs. Grumbly will be your new teacher. She's one of the most interesting people I've ever met, and she's got lots of great ideas that she can't wait to share with you all. 
interesting is good, I guess. I don't want this new grumbling teacher. I want Miss Carrington. I don't feel much like playing volleyball today. I just keep thinking about Miss Carrington. I know. We're all gonna really miss her. But she did say our new teacher was very interesting. People only say things were interesting when they can't think of anything nice to say, like, gee, those new shoes you're wearing sure are interesting, or what an interesting dog you have. Mm -hmm. Besides, with a name like Mrs. Grumbly, she's probably a real crab. <laughs> or maybe she'll be really strict, with lots of rules and regulations, like someone in the... Attention! Our new teacher, and I'm sure we're going to have lots of fun together once you understand the Grumbly rules. That means take out your books. That means turn in your homework, and this means everyone line up at the sharpener to sharpen your pencil. Got it? Yes, yes ma'am! It's going to be awful listening to that whistle all day. <laughs> I don't mind the whistle, as long as she's nice. I just hope she likes us. Why wouldn't she like us, Charlie? Well, maybe she's allergic to kids. Okay, class. Now we will do some... <gasps> Addition! Ah <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I've never heard of a teacher being allergic to kids. No, but Mrs. Grumbly might be allergic to dogs. <laughs> Don't worry, Clifford. I'm sure Mrs. Grumbly is going to really like all of us. Oh, at least I hope she will. It's going to be weird not to have Miss Carrington as our teacher anymore, Clifford. I mean, I've known her for such a long time. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if our new teacher could be someone we already know, too? what she's like until we meet her tomorrow. <laughs> In the meantime, why don't we read one of our favorite stories? Woof. There once was a little seal. I don't think she's here yet. It looks like Miss Carrington is in there alone. Do you think we're going to like Miss Grumbly at all? I doubt it. Woof. Woof. What is it, Clifford? <gasps> Look! It's her! It's her! <laughs> She's sneezing! She really is allergic to kids! Good morning, children. I'm Mrs. Grumbly. I hope I didn't scare you with that awful sneeze. <laughs> I guess my nose is still getting used to Birdwell Island's fresh air. 
The last school I taught at was far, far away from here. Far, far away? That's where I got my lucky whistle. <gasps> mm -hmm. I use this whistle when I coach soccer for the kids during recess. You know how to play soccer? Oh, it's one of my favorite games. Mine too! I'll bet you're Charlie. Miss Carrington told me what a terrific soccer player you are. <laughs> she did? He's the best player on our team. After me, that is. <laughs> and I'll bet you're Jeddah. Uh-huh. Miss Carrington told me that if I have any question about anything, you're the one to ask. You wouldn't be Emily Elizabeth, would you? Yes, that's me. Oh, I've heard that you're a wonderful help in the classroom. So maybe you can help me pass out this getting to know you snack a little later this morning? Sure. What is it? Brownies. Is that okay? Oh, that's perfect. Now, I'm guessing this big red fellow is Clifford. I'll bet you'd like a nice snack too. What do you say we all go inside and I can get to know all of you a little better? Okay. You know, Emily Elizabeth, I was a little nervous about meeting your dog, Clifford. You were? Uh-huh. When I heard how big he was, oh, I thought he might be a little scary. But now that I've met him, I see that he's a very sweet and special dog. I know what you mean, Miss Grumbly. Clifford and I were a little nervous about meeting you, too. <sighs> you were? But now we know it's a good idea to wait until you meet someone in person before you decide how you feel about them. <laughs> I can do it. 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 T-Bone, where are you going? Huh? Oh, hi, Clifford. Today, I'm going to go down the big slide. But you've never done that before, T-Bone. I know. I I've always been a little afraid to try it, but today I'm ready. Great. Let's go. Trying something new can be a little scary, but sometimes you just know deep inside that you're ready to try. Wow. Is he really going to do it? He said he's ready. You, you can, can do, do it. it. You, you can, can do, do it. it. I can do it. Whoa. <laughs> I knew I could and I did! Now I'm gonna do it again! Trying new things can be lots of fun, especially when you believe you can do it. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is... <laughs> believe in yourself!